I bring you greetings from the United Nations family, from the travel and tourism community, and wish you all the best. Let me, on the behalf of UNWTO, the United Nations Specialized Agency for Travel and Tourism, wish you all the best. My dear friends, this workshop is entitled towards year-round must-see destination of Greece, sustainable year-round destination. This morning, and I'm staying in this hotel, I woke up, I stepped out of my room to a very small little balcony, and I looked to my right. I saw the Acropolis in the Parthenon, and then I looked to my left and I saw the parliament with many people gathering, with people demonstrating, and with the beautiful guards walking back and forth, undisrupted. Their attention was only focused on their duties. Then I looked down to the plaza and I saw wonderful young men and women from Greece going around their work and going around their duties. The only thought that came up to my mind is what a great place with a great history. Yesterday, today, and the working people of Greece are all in one shot. I wish you were there with me. There was a very special feeling that I felt when I was looking at all of these elements, all of this triangle in one shot. Then, later in the morning, I was taken to a ceremony where the Olympic torch was handed to Austria for the Special Winter Olympics. And I connected that to the old tradition of the Olympics and how many times we tend to forget that it all started here. And I think we need to always remind the world that what starts here is to remain here. I think of Greece today as an entity that stands on its feet. It's steady, it's strong, still standing on its feet. But when I was thinking of the torch this morning, I thought that maybe this wonderful country is warming up because it's about to enter a very important race. It's about to run. And I'm looking forward for Greece to start running. The warm-up time is coming to some kind of an end, and you must start running. And this is the theme of my speech to you tonight, today. Athens is where history and great thinkers convened to offer answers to the world's most demanding and most pressing problems throughout history. Mm -hmm. What about the most pressing issues and demanding challenges of today? Can't we start discussing them from here? Can't we start learning from each other? Issues like economic growth, inclusive development, environmental sustainability, peace, security, inclusive growth are very demanding issues. We're quite aware, I'm quite aware, of how preoccupied you are with your own internal challenges. But one of the best ways of getting out of that and regaining self-confidence is to see yourself as world players and as carriers and bearers of a great, great civilization and a great heritage and get out of that into contributing to a bigger way of thinking. And that's precisely what is needed at this point in time. What has been done in Greece in the last two to three years is remarkable. I shared this with some of the journalists earlier this afternoon. Two, three years ago, everybody was betting on a total collapse of the Greek economy and the society going this way. Not only that did not happen, but actually the image of Greece, the standing of Greece all over the world, has gained so much momentum and so much positive energy for many reasons, some of which were challenges that you turned into opportunities that it requires some great demand.